one result that stood out more than others was uh, the fourth foot game um, a couple of months ago, about three or four months ago. And we were a goal down and in the 88th minute, Keller Coley got the win, and then the 94th minute, Chris Renton went and got the win, and we went 2 1. So, nine times this season, uh, out with today, they've come back from losing positions. And, you know, that's a testament to the players' character, uh, resilience, never say die as you, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just over the moon for them. They never, ever, ever stop going. They never know when they're beat. And um, I thought, you know, to be honest with you, I thought they got what they deserved over the whole piece. Over the two games, I think they got what they deserved. Did you think when it was coming right down in like 92, 93, they were still going to get, something was going to fall for them? I did. I, I, obviously, you know, as, as time goes on, Bill, you start getting a wee bit concerned and you know you're running out of time. But I knew they wouldn't stop going. I knew they wouldn't give up. And I knew if we got the goal and we took it the extra time, I knew we'd win because fitness-wise, I doubt there's a part-time team out there that has got those kind of fitness levels. So uh, they're a credit every single one of them. You know, guys that came off the bench and you know, made an impact. You know, we lost a couple of key players in the build-up to it. Stevie Hedrington, obviously, you know, he got it for Stevie with his knee and everything, um, and that was as much of a motivation for the boys as anything else. But you know, Chris Renton comes off the bench, leads the line well. Callum Smith, young boy, and Longford and Fermi was brilliant. So. Every single one of them have been a credit to themselves and I'm just delighted now that they can go and enjoy their night. Um, we'll meet again on Tuesday night, we'll have our wee discussions and then um, we look forward to the fixture list. You went really early throwing Andy Graham up front. It wasn't like a kind of last five minute desperate thing. No. What was the kind of thought of? Well, we spoke about it in the build up to the game and we spoke about it on Friday night that if this was the situation with 24 or 20 minutes to go, then this is what we were going to do because as much as we want to play football and we want to try and get the ball down and cut teams open, it's very, very difficult against them because they're so organised. They almost play with a back six at times. And it's very hard to find space and find gaps. So. I did speak to them um, on Friday and we spoke again at half time saying if we were in this position with 20 minutes to go, this is what we were going to do. Let's throw caution to the wind. Now, if we lose 2 0, 3 0, so what? Let's try and have a go and let's try and win the game. So we went with the big boys and um, I thought they were excellent. I really did. And you know, the goal to go and win at Kilpatrick, I mean, that's just what he's capable of. It's probably goal of the season, to be honest. Once again, it was Jordan and Ross that got the goals for you. They've been really important players since coming in in January, haven't they? Absolutely, Jamie, yeah. Um, you know, obviously the loan signings have definitely worked and they've definitely made a positive impact to us, but I really, at this moment in time, don't want to single any one or two players out. Yeah, those guys will get the credit in the papers, no doubt, because they're the ones that, you know, have got the goals for us, but you know, my two centre-halves were outstanding. My goalkeeper makes an incredible save, you know, the header uh, down low to his left-hand side. Um, there were so many good, good performances. You know, even Chris Renton coming off the bench, and makes a huge impact, so... Um, I'm just, I'm over the moon for everybody connected to the club. Right from the board, right down to the fans, we've got a lot of volunteers behind the scenes who really do a great job as well and uh, more importantly, please for the players because you don't get those kind of experiences all the time and um, I hope they cherish the moment tonight and go and enjoy it and, um, and then we'll go again next season. How does this rank for you as a manager? You're quite a short manager. Uh, listen, I've only been in the job less than two years so obviously it's the best moment of my managerial career, there's no doubt about that. Um, I've had, been fortunate enough to have one or two good ones as a player but I think this one is a wee bit different emotionally. It's, you, know, you put an awful lot more into things, I think, as a manager. Um, obviously, you, you never stop thinking about the game. And, um, yeah, and I take a lot of satisfaction, but I couldn't do it on my own. There's no doubt about that. I've got a fantastic staff behind me. I've got great help from the board and the chairman. And um, it's a real collective effort. What are the ambitions for next season going into the championship then? Well, you know, I've got a good core of players there that I want to take with me. And we'll sit down with them next week and make the offer as necessary. And hopefully, they'll all want to come with us on it um, and they just want to go and play the exact same way. I'm not one of these managers that's going to go up to the, the championship and sit 10, 11 men behind the ball and try and grind out nil nils and one nils. I'm not interested in that. I believe in the players. I believe they're good enough to go up and, and, uh, and take teams on and pass the ball the way that they do, the way they're capable of. It's the way we train, so we wouldn't dream of playing any way different. And, um, you know, we'll try and add more quality to the squad in the summer. We've already identified one or two, we've spoke to one or two, but we're definitely now a more attractive proposition, I think, for players um, going into the championship, and I'm pretty sure uh, we'll be inundated now with players wanting to come and play for us, hopefully.